Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mr. Rebuck, and I am responsible for religious education here at St. Joseph Catholic Church. I'm so happy that we can be together once again for Children's Liturgy of the Word. This week is the fifth Sunday in Ordinary Time, and we will begin with a reading from the prophet Isaiah. One day, when I was in the temple, I had a vision. I saw God sitting on a high throne, and there were angels standing all around it. One angel called to another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. The whole earth is full of God's glory. When the angel spoke, the doors of the temple shook, and the temple filled with smoke. Then I said, I am a sinner, and my people are sinful people, and yet I have seen God. Now I am doomed. Then one of the angels came to me, holding a piece of burning coal. The angel, the angel touched my mouth with the hot coal and said, Now that this has touched your mouth, your sin is forgiven. Then I heard the voice of God say, Who will go and speak for me? Who will I send? And I answered, I am here. Send me. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All right, boys and girls, we will now sing our responsorial psalm and our gospel acclamation. of the angels I will sing your praise I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name in the sight of the angels I will your praises, Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. All the kings of the earth shall give thanks to you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. And they shall sing of the ways of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Your right hand saves me, 
the Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. In the sight of the angels, I will sing your praises, Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come after me, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, when Jesus was standing on the shore beside Lake Gennesaret, he saw two boats by the lake. The fishermen were busy washing their nets. Jesus got into the boat that belonged to Simon, and he said to him, Row the boat out where the water is deep. Put your nets into the water, and you will catch some fish. Simon said, Master, we fished all night long and didn't catch anything, but if you say so, we will try again now. So they put their nets into the deep water. Soon they caught so many fish that their nets began to tear. They called to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. James and John came, and both boats were so full of fish that they almost sank. James and John were amazed at what happened. When Simon saw how many fish they caught, he fell down in front of Jesus and said, Lord, Go away from me. I am a sinner. But Jesus said to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you will be gathering people, not fish. They brought their boats onto the shore and left everything to follow Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boys and girls, how many of you like to go fishing? If someone were to ask me that question, I guess I would have to say that my answer would be no. You see, I like to catch fish, but I don't particularly enjoy fishing unless I actually end up catching a fish. Now, I know that some people say that it doesn't matter to them whether they catch any fish or not. They just enjoy the act of fishing itself. In fact, I remember hearing this story about a father taking his young son to go fishing with him. This father and son got up very early in the morning and went out to the lake. After they had been fishing for about five minutes, the boy turned to his father and said, Dad, when are we going to catch something? And then after about 30 minutes, the boy gave up and went to play with some other children at a nearby park. Meanwhile, the boy's father stayed there and fished all day. Despite his patience, the boy's father never did end up catching a fish. Now, that is certainly not my idea of a good time. Boys and girls, 
as I think about this story, I am reminded of today's gospel reading. We hear that Jesus is standing by the Sea of Galilee and that a large crowd of people starts to gather around him. He sees some fishermen nearby who are cleaning and mending their nets, so Jesus climbs into one of their boats. He asks one of the men, whose name is Simon, to pull the boat out a little way from the shore. Jesus then sits in the boat, teaching the people who have gathered to hear him. After he finishes teaching, Jesus says to Simon, Row the boat out where the water is deep. Put your nets into the water, and you will catch some fish. Simon answers Jesus, Master, we fished all night long and didn't catch anything, but if you say so, we will try again now. And boys and girls, an amazing thing happens. As the fishermen pull their nets up, they are filled with so many fish that the nets begin to break. In fact, as they pull the fish into the boat, there are so many fish that the boat itself almost begins to sink. When Simon and his fellow fishermen see this, they are astonished and even a bit frightened. But Jesus says to them, don't be afraid. From now on, you will be gathering people, not fish. Today's gospel reading also tells us that after these fishermen pulled their boats onto the shore, they left everything that they had and began to follow Jesus. From that day on, Simon and his friends fished for people and brought many of them into God's kingdom. Boys and girls, Jesus wants you and I to fish for people too. If we are faithful in telling others about Jesus and his love for them, then we can also trust in Jesus to help bring these people to him. This week, remember to ask God to help you be good fishers of people, faithful, patient, and trusting in God to ultimately bring them home to his kingdom. All right, boys and girls, as we do every week, we will now have the renewal of our baptismal promises. So I invite you to stand and you'll respond with, I do, after I ask you these questions. Dear children, through his suffering, death, and resurrection, we have been buried with Christ in baptism that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so let us now renew the promises of holy baptism in which we renounce Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no power over you? I do. Do you believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the Almighty Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit and forgiven all of our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you very much for joining us today for Children's Liturgy of the Word. I hope that you and your families are able to attend the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass together this weekend, and that all of you have a blessed Sunday. I look forward to seeing you back here once again next week.